Hello everyone, it's me Ellie from Access Press Themes and welcome to the yet another video tutorial of Access Press Root. Well, in this video, I will include all the general setting that you can do with this theme. So let's log into your WordPress. Here, after you download the theme and install it to your WordPress, you'll get a notification that is this theme rec recommends the following plugins. Access Press Custom CSS, Social Counter, Social Icon and Twitter Fair where uh, so begin your installation of the plugin from here and then go to appearance and uh, theme option now these are the options that is provided to you in the theme option for the configuration of this theme well the first option is general setting and here you can see website layout you can choose the website layout that is either full width or boxed well if you choose full width and uh, save your option Let's go to the front end of the website and see how it appears on your website. Well, this is how it appears. Uh, the layout is looking like this because we haven't uh, kept any, uh, sorry, put any contents. So this is how the layout of the website looks. That is full width without leaving any area, uh, neither at the right or at the left. So you can change that if you want to, if you choose boxed. You can also enable the responsive design from here you can enable or disable then uh, after your uh, website layout is chosen as boxed then you will have options that is you can choose your background image uh, or a background color or pattern if you choose a background image then you can uh, upload it from here or you can Choose the background color, then select the unlimited color option that is provided to you from here. Or uh, if you choose background pattern, then these are the patterns that is provided. So choose one. Choose one pattern and save your options. Now let's go back to the front end and see how it appears with the box layout. Well, this is how it appears that is leaving some space uh, on the left and the right side of the website and uh, this is the pattern we chose for the background pattern now this is about the website layout and the background image color or pattern that you can choose from here now let's see about the logo settings well you can uh, you can choose an image only to show on the uh, website header or you can choose a, some text only to show there or you can choose both uh, image and text well if you choose an image then you can upload your logo from here well I already have it in my media library well you can always upload from this side so let me choose the logo then save options now let's go back to the front end and see how that appears on the header. So this is how our logo looks like. But if you choose to select a text only, then you can uh, edit that text by going to appearance and then customize. Here you can see site title and tagline. Now this is the demo content, so we have access press themes and tagline is just another WordPress site. Well, you can edit it as per your requirement and then save your option. Then select text and save your option. Now go to the front end and see how that text appears. Well, as you can see, your text appears like this similarly if you choose both image and text which I would prefer you to then your front end will look like this with a logo along with some text that is a site tagline and text so this is about the logo setting now from general setting you can also upload a fab icon well fab icon is basically a, a web tab that is uh, you can see the picture small picture here where this is a fab icon 
can see here and here and here. Well, you can also have this fab icon on your website. So upload a fab icon of 16 by 16 pixel. So let me select an image to show you. Then uh, select it and save options. Now go to the front end and see how that appears. <clears throat> As you can see, this is the fab icon that we uh, uploaded and the, your website tab will look like this. So some of the other settings that you can do with this theme is that you can select the single post layout that is with left sidebar, right sidebar, both sidebar or uh, even without sidebars. So similarly you can select the single page layout at the same too and archive page layout. Along with this you can select a blog post layout that is blog image large, medium, alternate medium or full contents. Well about this I'll be explaining you in brief in the next video that I'm gonna make and then simply save your options and with all these general settings that we did your website's gonna look like this with a background pattern, logo, text, box layout and all that so this is all about the general setting that you can do with Access Press Root and uh, if you have any confusion regarding these settings then you can always write to me below you can always comment and i'll be more than happy to reply to you so thank you very much for watching this video